So what is the solution? Because <laughs> we keep talking about this. There are enough problems really to solve. Where are the solutions? Because you guys... No, I, I, I think, I think some, some we, were we are dealing with what Americans would describe war times. You know, you can say so many things that are not happening, right? So many that are happening well. But we are dealing with a very difficult situation as a country. Not brought to us by the president yeah. or by any one of us. We live in a global, global economy. There are so many things happening in the world. Personally, I'm happy about one thing, Sam, that this government is trying to live up to its policy orientation. Which is? Which is the plan that they had, which is how to ensure that, one, let's talk about housing, let's talk about agriculture, let's talk about aggregation. Mm. I mean, I, I see positive work towards aggregation every day. I see positive work on agriculture every day. I see a lot of effort in reforming education funding every day. But do you see, I, do you see the money? I, 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 allow me to just school. tell you what I think is happening. Because, I, I mean, I, I'm reading this. The president has gone out of the country now severally, and whenever he comes back, he talks about the jobs he's negotiated for the young people, how he's negotiated for farms to come. And I've, I've, I've seen even one of the papers today talking about how the global tax maybe are going to now leave China or whatever place to come to Kenya. I mean, these things will come to fruition, Sam. They need time. We, we keep comparing ourselves with Singapore, South Korea, Malaysia. But we want to do Singapore in a year when they did theirs in 30 years. We want to leap into it without going through the paces. We have to. This, this is, and, and I wonder when you're going to tell you this, that much as, much as all of us are hurting, actually us hurting less because we earn bigger salaries, Kenyans are hurting more. But there is an era, a generation that will have to take the flag, Sam. There's an era that will have to take in all the things we're taking in now for this country to take, to take off. And it's our era, it's our generation. It is us who will accept these hard decisions. It's us who will have to accept these high taxes for us to be able to pick up as an economy. All over the world, whether it's America, whether the UK, there's been, I mean, Europe grew out of a terrible war. German was built through a serious martial plan that was based on a terrible war. Singapore, if you thought about Singapore, uh, where Lee Kuan Yew picked Singapore from, there were sacrifices that to be made. So I, I believe that they are th the, the plans of the country, the police orientation for me, I think, are right. Anybody who wants to judge a police orientation within a year mm -hmm. or, or 14 months for me, I think, is being judgmental too soon. Why don't we give these policy frameworks that are being implemented time and see how they're going to go? However, it, I believe that even as we give the police frameworks time, yeah. we must allow the citizens also leave. We should not allow them to die as we try to work for the future. Sam, and, that's, and that's I, why. So could I respond, Sami? Just hold no, on, just just hold on a little bit. I think um, it's your time. I'm Hello? still with no. the Honorable uh, Cheng here. Hello, me too. Honorable <laughs> Cheng, did you hear that very eloquent explanation you give here? Did you hear it from the president's statement? I mean, you can hear what you want to hear, Sam. No, people, you. people use different words to say different things. Uh, uh, listen, the president talked about what he has done. He spoke, he spoke about education funding. I can use my words to explain what he said. He spoke about agriculture. He spoke about job creation. He spoke about aggregation. He spoke about uh, health financing and how we're going to do it. He spoke about them. He may not have spoken to them in the way you'd want to speak to them, Sam. But I believe that he spoke to the issues. I mean, this is not the time to be popular. This is a time to put your foot down and say, this is what I promised. It may take a longer time. But if you're going to make people laugh every time and they're hurting, I don't think it's the right thing to do. The president is being circumspect, he's being realistic, he's telling us, guys, this is where we are as a country. We got a 300 billion debt you have to pay by the end of the year, I have to plan for it. We've got planting coming up in March, I have to plan for it. We've got our children going to school in a broken education system. We have to fix it. Mm. And this is how we are fixing it. Yeah. So I believe, in my opinion, mm. that the president, he may not have spoken in the you know, lavish language or in the flowing prose that someone may want to hear, but this is his way of speech. And, and I believe that there's a point in time when sometimes lancing the ball doesn't help. You just have to go for it, cut it through, let it bleed, so that then it gets to heal. So, so I believe that at some point in time, this country will have to understand 
that we've done many things wrongly, many things. And I want to believe that where is David Uching that has done something wrong, or the president, or anybody else? This is always a Damascus moment. You may have had things done wrong in the past. Yes. But if you realize that you've been doing, even yourself, if you realize that there are things that have not been doing right, you can change the, the way Paul did. And then do the things the right way. And so I believe, Sam, mm. that what the Honorable Mukunja has spoken about, you go across the border here in Uganda, and from my home to the border, I drive only 40 minutes. Mm. People, there are people who can live in this country for three months without charging a single, a single Uganda shilling because of their life patterns, yes. their life choices. Because <laughs> Uganda in the village will serve a four course meal without a single, a single cent because. They use vegetables, indigenous vegetables. Ugali ni wawimbi. And they're in plenty. Kuna mihogo. Mm. Kama ni kuku, ni hile ameshika kwa shamba. Mm. So someone can survive a month without buying anything. But in Kenya, we are now importing every single thing you're importing. That's why today, Uganda is talking about 3% inflation. Mm. Kenya, 6.9. Because we're importing so much. So we must learn, and the, the, the president has spoken about this so many times, to a level where people think it's a cliche. Sam, we'll have to produce our own food if we are to have hopes of reducing inflation. Let's produce our the own food where possible. Mm. We have to, to we avoid importing unnecessary things. Number one, number two, which I think needs to be emphasised more, and Donald Bonyoka has spoken about it, is corruption. We are now having ministers, pieces living so large. People are wondering. You are telling us, turning our bells. But your ministers are flying all over the place. We are seeing the kind of shoes you are wearing and all that. It is just wrong. So there are issues that we need to deal with yeah. as, as a people and as a country. Okay. There are the issues the government loves to deal with. Be before I leave uh, uh, th th that, that space, uh, Sam, there are things that happen in this country that we also need to sort out. And it's not the only president, only president who can sort it out. It's us as a country. Like, when I was growing up, Sam, and allow me to use my personal example. My parents were teachers. My mother used to earn 4,000 shillings a month. My dad, 7,000 shillings a month. There was a shop at the center, a place called Baruber, mm. where from day one to the end, they would send me, I would go and borrow sugar, I'll go and borrow milk where necessary. We'll pick things there. The day I would ride the bicycle with my mom to share for the salary, we come back. She goes to repays the loan, we start picking again. But recently I was there, we are now having supermarkets in every center. We, we, we are taking away our social safety nets. Which supermarket will, will borrow you milk? Which supermarket will you go to borrow, borrow sugar? We have producers, guys producing cement and still selling cement as retail. And you, not, you produce cement in Nairobi, but you're selling the same cement to, next to a hardware somewhere in Siaya. How will this retailer sell? This economy generally is broken down in a way that we must replan it. Mm -hmm. Replanning it requires some sacrifices. Replanning it will require that there are things that will be done in a normal manner. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 some. So I just want to tell you that I believe that much as the president is trying to be modest, we are actually in a worse situation than we think. So let's pay our debt. Let's reduce corruption. You know, you know I, I hear you. Let's live within our means. Uh, but above no, all, yeah. above, above all, I, I believe some, above all, let's just be patient. Mm. 